Let's create another chart. This time we are going to look at sales as well as profits by region. So let's go ahead and create a new sheet, rename the sheet. Let's go ahead and pick region, drop it on columns, take sales, put it on rows, take profit, I put it in rows. So what just happened here is we got two charts, one for sales by region and one for sales by profit. However, if you want to plot both these bar graphs using the same axis, then you'll have to take a different approach. Let's go ahead and take a look how to do that. Go ahead and click on undo so that we can go back to sales by region. Now go ahead and drag profit and rather than taking up the rows, hover over sales axis. You'll notice two axes are showing up when you hover over it. Go ahead and drop it now. Now you've got sales and profit sharing the same axis. You'll notice that Tableau automatically creates a new value called measure values. And it places a new card called measure values card, which has both profits and sales in it and also automatically creates a new filter called measure names. Measure values and measure names are a way for Tableau to assign multiple values in the same place. Don't worry about filters at this point. We will discuss them in future lectures. Now, let's say you want to show profit and sales in different colors. You can simply go over to show me, select side by side bars and click on them. Now both measure names, profit and sales, are of different colors. If you do not like the color, simply right click on a column, click edit color, and choose the color that you want. A new card shows up called measure values that contains both sum of profit and sum of sales. Rows also shows measure values and filter shows measure names. Measure values and measure names are just a way for Tableau to allow multiple measures to show in one place. We will talk about filters in our future lectures. If your two data values are not on the same scale, then plotting them on the same axis won't give you the desired visualization. You will have to plot them on two different axes. To plot two measures on different axes, You'll use similar approach, but rather than dropping your second value over to your left-hand side axis, you'll take it all the way to right-hand axis and drop it there. So let's see in action. Let's create another worksheet called and rename it called dual axis. We're going to create a chart called sales by date, order date and sales. Got your chart. Now, if we want to plot profit on other axes, go ahead and drag profit. Rather than dragging here, take it all the way till you see another axis and drop it. Now you've got dual axis chart. That's all you need to do. Decide whether you want single axis, shared axis, or you want dual axis. Depends on what you want. Take your second measure and drop it on the appropriate side. 